Well, hello there to all of you fantastic OAKE committee chairs. And your name should be on the screen there. If it's not, I apologize. Um, and so you're the audience that I'm reaching out for today. I'm Tom Mahalik. I'm the president-elect of OAKE, and I'm going to be as fast as possible because I know you're a busy person. It's July. You're very busy doing hammock work and lawn work and painting the spare bedroom and all that stuff and all that extra professional development you're doing. Um, now, you already know that we have a strategic plan, strategic framework, if you will, and we've updated it for the next two years. And you already know that we are going to serve the music education community in the United States through education, advocacy, inspiration, and community. And you already know that our strategic priorities are community and sustainability. And I bet you already know that we have underneath community and sustainability, these strategic actions that we're going to undertake. And you already know that we have strategic outcomes, that if we do these strategic actions, here's what we think is going to happen to sustain our organization and to build community. But you're wondering, now wait a minute, I wonder how they are going to get from the strategic, strategic actions to the strategic outcomes. Well, that's where you come in because they can't do it. I can't do it. Our executive board, our board of directors can't do it. And what can uh, what has to happen is, of course, our whole membership has to do it. But what can happen is our committee chairs, love you, love you, um, they are going to get us started. You are going to get us started on our path from the strategic actions to the outcomes. You're going to help us fill the gap. Uh-oh, there's periods after those letters, which means there's an acronym, a guide to action planning. And that's what I'm showing you very quickly today. Now, the guide to action planning is a document that's like, I try to keep it really short, like two pages. And it's just going to let you, the committee chair, kind of know the process that we are after for this you know, school year, for lack of a better term, from now until the end of next school year in 2024. The, action, the gap has three parts to it. The pre-work, the high-level purposeful thinking, and the detailed action planning. What does the pre-work mean? Well, we've kind of figured it out on the executive board and our staff. Three WIGs, sorry about all the acronyms, wildly important goals that we think if we do these things this year, boy, it's going to have a huge impact on our organization. And there's one of the wigs right there. Get people to come to the conference and register early and get people, members, non-members, to submit students for the honor choirs. Get people to renew their membership or consider becoming lifetime memberships. If we, everybody kept their membership current, boy, that'd make a huge difference. And also have everybody dream about how they can be part of our organization, whether it's on the chapter level, division level, national level, serving on a committee, serving their chapter in some way. There's a place for all. And if we could meet those, those wildly important goals, those wigs this year, like I said, it would have a profound impact on our organization. Step one, as part of this pre-work that I just said, setting the st uh, stage around outcomes, is you're going to have a little chat with your liaison. Did you know you have a liaison? If you don't, they're not doing their job. Somebody from the executive board, me or Kevin or Brian or Katie or Holly, are going to reach out to you and say, hey, what are you thinking for your committee? What work do you think your committee could do to enhance our organization and to help us meet the um, actions of our strategic framework. And they're going to let you know, as I click back, um, out of the those actions, 12 of them, which ones we were thinking. We were thinking, because of the nature of the work that your committee does, that you could maybe, what do you think about addressing these, uh, you know, one of these? Here's a few ideas for you. What, you know, but you're in the driving, you're in the driver's chair. You are, dri driver's seat. Um, you're the one that gets to decide, sorry, um, and your committee, the direction you take. But your liaison's going to kind of help you filter a little bit. Then what happens? Well, you're going to meet with your committee and you just talk. Hey, what do you guys think based on the projects that we're already doing? 
what other, what else could we do? Maybe maybe you're going to just continue on the road and continue to do those projects. This isn't meant to create more work for your committee unless your committee needs more work to do to help. It. What it's meant to do is to guide your thinking so that any individual committee doesn't kind of go off that direction, which has happened in the past. And that's a wonderful direction over there. But, you know, we're trying to go this way, and so we're, we're just trying to guide you. Um, and as you're meeting with your committee, do you see – oh, you have a conversation with your committee. Isn't that a nice visual? Found it online. Do you see a big easy? Is there a project or an experiment that your team will absolutely succeed at within a month or so? Give it a star. So put all those things on the table. Oh, there's my big easy visual. Then, once you kind of have an idea of where your committee wants to go, um, and there's a little more explanation in the document of how you might figure that out with your committee, talk to your chair again, whether that, maybe that's an email, maybe it's a phone call, maybe it's a text, maybe it's a fax, maybe it's a whatever else there is, um, coffee. Um, may, uh, so you talk to the liaison again. Okay, here's what we were thinking. What do you think? And, and we'll say, great, go for it. Or we'll say, mm, how about if you did like that, but this way? This isn't a dictatorship. We don't want to tell your committee what to do, but we want to help guide you. Next thing that happens, you and your committee communicate. Maybe it's another meeting. Maybe it's emails, whatever. Um, okay, you guys, here's what we're, where we're headed for this next year. Here's what our plan is going to be. Here's the strategic action that we are addressing. And then you're going to just let us know officially in a little document. Oh, consider the Big Easy again. In a little document, uh, not even a document. I shouldn't say that. A Google form. Let us know that stuff. Okay, what is it you're going to do again? What's your action? Which, you know, of those 12? And who's going to do it? And what's the actual work entail? And what steps are there? And what are the, how are you going to know if, it's, if you did it? What are, the, what are the metrics of your success? What time frame were you thinking? And then do you need anything? Resources, you know, from the staff, from the executive committee, any money? Ugh, don't like to hear that. Um, and then the outcome, that's already written too. And, and, and so there's a quick and easy action plan form. Well, if it has quick and easy in the title, it must be quick and easy to fill out. You as the chair then, just let us know, hey, here's what we're going to do. All those things that I just said. It's in a little Google form. I try to make it fast, fast, fast. And I'm thinking that that whole process may be 30 minutes of your life to, you know, after you have talked to your committee to fill that stuff out in your mind. There's even a little helper sheet if you need it. There's a link in the document and to, to fill that out. I'm hoping 30 minutes. Then you work it. No, that's not Rebecca Lakes. It's somebody else that I found online. Um, and you just do the, the, um, the work in your plan. And you don't have to have that done, like I said, until May. And maybe it's still not done in May of 2024 or June or July. Maybe it's ongoing. But you're going to share about it. Hey, here's what we're doing or here's what we did and here's what we learned and here's how we think it helped and boy, here's where we went wrong. You just kind of share that out after this whole process is done. So I was thinking, okay, so if they could do that little Google form by July 30th, there's a deadline. Not necessarily the work it part, but just let us know all that stuff. You know, what are you going to do? What's it going to cost? Who's going to do it? Blah, blah, blah. But then I thought, wait a minute. July 30th, get real. It's summer. Like I told somebody last week, once you get off the merry-go-round of OAKE to have a little break, it's hard to get back on, I understand. So since you're going to be busy laying in the hammock on the beach or painting the spare bedroom, like I did. Um, how about not July 30th? How about August 30th? If you So that means you're going to do that pre-work phase on, and meet with your committee and then kind of figure out your plan moving forward, whether it's stuff you're already doing or maybe it's a new sort of plan. Maybe it's one action plan. Maybe it's two. Maybe you're addressing two different projects. Maybe for the year, I'm chairing the planning and development committee, and for the year, I've got three goals. So I'm going to have three little action plans that are going to guide us and guide our work and let the executive committee know what we're doing um, so that we can make sure everything's covered. Um, so I've got those three to do by August 30th. You need an accountability partner like I often do. Um, somebody to help you stay on track, but without the guilt. 
somebody not on your committee, but that's like, hey, how's it going with your action plan? Well, you know, are you, are, you, are you meeting your benchmarks? Did you get your form turned in by August 30th? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? If you'd like an accountability partner, there's a spot on the Google form. You can check that. And then we'll assign you somebody really nice. Uh, guidance without judgment. So I think I've all I've um, said everything I need to. I'm not a realtor, but I look like one in my little H and my little uh, promo photo that I had taken a couple summers ago. So I had to include it, cheesy. And but I'm here for you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever you want to let me know, um, there's my email address. It looks like pre-select, but it's prez elect. I know, it took me a while to figure that one out. And there's my, uh, my phone number, my cell, so you can text. And um, so, thank you, thank you, thank you. I talked too long. Have a great rest of your day, and let me know which questions you have. You'll be hearing from your executive committee liaison soon.